everybody welcome back to Stringman Guitars we have a uh, Telecaster here on a bench it's getting Fender get in the picture Vic uh, Fender Gen 4 noiseless pickups and we're using an obsidian ah, obsidian wiring kit looks like that I've been wanting to try one of these. So, there's a new output jack. Probably some screws. And a new ground jack, or uh, ground wire. Sorry, new camera angle. Custom four way only. If installing a two wire neck pickup with a metal cover, you must complete this mod. This mod adds a separate ground wire for grounding the neck pickup cover. Hmm. Okay. So evidently. There's where everything goes. It's already pre-cut and pre-measured and blah blah blah. And uh, this is ready to go. It just has to uh, be screwed into the uh, plate. So yeah, sounds like good times. Anyhow, let me remove the strings and clean up a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, so just a little bit of the pre-setup maintenance we want to make sure all the bushings are tight not cranked on tight but snug on all the tuning machines um, going to use a fret eraser let's see here what are we going to use not that one no, not that one that one. Or that this one. Okay. Just clean up some of the schmuck off the frets. Or should I say, find the F1? Oh, here it is. Gotta order some F1. Until the truss rod's been adjusted, there's some marks on the uh, walnut cap here telling me so. I'm not the first monkey that's been in there. Okay, this is something we normally don't do, is take the bridge fully apart. But, I'm going to leave the, uh, the ground wire and as, as much as possible everything attached to the original plate. Plus, as you can see, there's all kind of gunge in there that we're going to clean out, so just don't lose any of your screws. At that point, we can remove the, the bridge, and then all we have to do is disconnect the ground post there and reassemble using the existing wires so 
and we're going to clean up the bridge plate. So there you go. Get all that cleaned up and put the new pickup in. So top tip here, um, before you resort to the electro socket, um, take a little bit of the Loctite blue and put it on the threads and that should keep you from coming loose for a while. Uh, when that blade that's in there starts to cut into the wood, then it's time for the electro, electro socket. Electro, yeah, I think that's what it's called. Anyhow, I got our ground wire up from the wiring, the ground, and the uh, um, jack wiring. Now we have to go into the obsidian and get that all set up. Got it all mounted on the plate nice. It's, oh yeah, we got to clean the um, the bridge plate from... Oh, and I want to thank my friend George Rue for this little piece of kit. I use it for hollow bodies, but whenever you're trying to get the jack with the little um, jagged washer to come through that much body. Um, good thing to have. Thanks George. And so yeah we got to get uh, the new pickups mounted in the old um, plate and pick guard. The jack, the uh, data on the neck is July 20th, 1995. Set that aside. The body is hard to make out. It says, yeah, also July 13th, 1995. Alright, now we can put our pick card in. The trick is getting all these wires back through that hole. Oh, easy that time. You gotta lay down in there. Another problem pops up. It appears that the uh, pickup is too deep for the hole. Is it? Or what am I looking at here? Oh no, it's not. It's the wire. Hold on. That's better. Let me have holes. There we go. All right. So taking everything apart and putting everything back in is the hardest part of this. It took me exactly ten minutes, and part of that was just getting the right angle to push these little pins in. So we got 10 minutes and we've got um, the four-way uh, custom tally where you get the humbucker sound out of the first position, the um, neck out of the second, um, the two in phase, out of the third and the bridge out of the fourth. All I had to do is get the wires to the proper length, push them in, tug to make sure they're there, 
and I did a sound test and everything works not a bit of solder and uh, so that's the wiring part of this these things are amazing for eighty dollars you can save yourself a ton of strife <laughs> Ta -da. everybody stay in place don't come unplugged Yeah, would you look at that? It fits. No fungling around. We're just going to go ahead and screw that down, put the knobs on, then we'll put the neck on, then we'll do the setup. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Yeah, the biggest hassle was taking the old stuff out, taking all the saddles off so that you could access the uh, the, the mounting screws for the uh, the bridge plate and then the rest was easy just putting the new, they even give you the new um, rubber noodles instead of these things that came on it you know 16 years ago, 14 years ago Okay, so we got it screwed down. This wire is a piece of crap. It's making all kind of noise. I gotta get a new one. Diodario copper free copper or oxygen free copper. Avoid at all cost. So we're in the uh, fourth position. That's the humbucker. There's the uh, neck only there's both in the typical tele middle position and there's the bridge so yeah okay when we last left this epic project We've replaced the pickups, put in the um, what's called obsidian wire um, wiring system. We've got new strings on it, the frets have been polished, all nuts and bushings have been tightened. Um, new pickups are in here, we tested the four-way switch and I just have to bring it up to pitch. I just put new strings on it. It'll take some stretching. Might as well do that. I'll rat it. And stretching needs to be done up here as well. So you take your, and it's really your wound strings. Good tug. Your um, plain strings aren't going to stretch. However, they, if I give them a little bit of a tug, it will help seat them around the tuners in all the places that they bend. I put graphite in the, the uh, nut slot. I put some Big Ben's nut sauce on the contact points in the bridge and the uh, string tree. So let's see where we're at as far as tuning. I hold it at the 17th capo in the first and we want 10,000th of relief. We need to put a little bit of relief in that neck. Did about a quarter of a turn. Let's see where that leaves us. I could live with that. Um, I 
Let's check our string height. Alright, string height gauge. We want somewhere between 4 and 5 64s. And we got 4 64s. We got 4 64s. We got 4 64s. 4 64s. A little less than 4 64s. And a little less than 4 64s. Let's bring this one up a little bit. That's the other thing, these these all should be level unto themselves. Come on, give me my wrench back. There it is. You don't want them to be like they're riding on low air pressure on one side, do you? It looks a little better. Let's see where that leaves our string height. Right at 464s. Right at 464s. Four sixty fours, four sixty fours, four sixty fours. Okay then. Let's go for pickup height. Hold on. Okay, pickup height. Hold on at the last fret. I know I still have the plastic covers on, but these are too high. Okay, we're good there. And that's too high by a mile. Still too high. I guess we're going to leave that unless it goes down a little bit further. I think the depth of the body is causing it. Oh, that's good enough. And that's too low. Not even in the picture. I'm not in the picture. Okay. Okay. Allowing for the plastic. Oops. Need a thicker one for that side, boys and girls. Okay, allowing for the plastic. Take the plastic off there and we'll be good. All right, let's uh, tune it again. Do not know if this will work. Yes. All right.
Okay, so what we're looking for is intonation now. So you want to hit the string, have it in tune, hit the harmonic, double check that it's in tune, and then fret it at twelfths, lightly, and it's sharp, so it's got to come back. Get my extension here. Always back off a little bit on the uh, tune or whatever you're to give yourself some room and since we moved everything you got to restretch that string a little bit okay went too far just a little bit it's okay to go the other way because you're not changing any you're not putting more pressure on the neck but whenever you're tightening the string okay spot on Spot on. Now you remember I had to take these saddles off. Spot on. Aha. Okay. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. I'll come back and check it and uh, get it back to the rightful owner. You guys stay safe out there. Love your neighbor. Have a great day.